Hello, and welcome back to the Feebly Brush. Today, I'm going to paint a value grayscale painting of the Giri Prime from Dune. Homeworld of the Harkonnens. A polluted, industrialized environment of artificiality from their architecture to their culture. Arguably, Didi Prime has the most unique of sequences in the whole movie given that it's filmed in black and white, with the exception of a few scenes. A heavily dense area where the sunlight is so bright and blinding that all color is washed away, giving that feeling of a world where things are black and white. This is because Gidi Prime orbits a black sun that emits within the infrared spectrum, so instead of revealing color, it kills color. This gives the audience a vista into the psychology of the Harkonnens, plastic and artificial. This is why I will stick to painting this entire artwork in a grayscale form. So usually before starting any artwork, I start by making a quick rough sketch to get my ideas down. However, in this case, I already know the theme that I want, which is a brutalist industrialized environment run by a complex military which is fueled by greed and power. The scene I'm going for is a recreation of this scene from the movie Dune Part 2 where there is a military parade march showing the Harkonnens' might and state-of-the-art weaponry. I also added a cargo armor train used for moving military equipment coming out of the fortified palace and some soldiers marching with enormous gunships or missile ships hovering over them, giving the indication that they are preparing for war. The overall city is completely industrial and toxic. I added dozens of factories with small with sorry with tall chimneys polluting the entire atmosphere. Lastly, for the main structure, which is the palace, I wanted to have that brutalist feel to it, combined with some of HR Geiger art style. A combination of brutalism and biomechanical. I also added Baron Harkonnen's gigantic head bust right at the top of the fortified palace entry along with the Black Sun banner just to give it that oppressive vibe. Now this is a grayscale value painting meaning I'm using shades of black and white and the rule is the closer objects are, the darker they appear, and the further they are, the lighter. With that simple rule in mind, I continue to paint while planning out where the light hits and where the shadows are, depending on which direction the source of light is. Also to make this painting more cinematic and large-scaled, I added atmospheric perspective and volume along with tall industrial towers in the far background. Over here you'll see me adding the marching soldiers along with the missile ships hovering over them, which wasn't added in the initial sketch earlier.
Thanks for watching this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed painting it. Let me know in the comments what would you want me to paint next. Stay tuned. Bye.